If you're in WCFM multi-vendor marketplace, then I have some exciting news coming your way. Now you can get your favorite wholesaling features like wholesale pricing, wholesale discount, dynamic B2B pricing, user role based pricing, even conversation and more within WCFM with the wholesale X for WCFM plugin. And guess what? This plugin is absolutely free. So if you're a WCFM user, you must give it a try. As a side admin, you get to decide what wholesaling features your vendors get to have. To do so, go to the settings section of Wholesale X, then click on WCFM integration. Here you can enable or disable all the features, wholesaling features of course, your vendors can or cannot have. Just select the ones that you want and click on the save changes button. Now let's see how your vendors can set wholesale pricing for the products. To do so, they must go to the dashboard and click on products. Select the product that they want to add the wholesale pricing to. Here you can see the pricing options are available. You can set the normal price and the sale price. So this is how it will look like. But thanks to Wholesale X for WCFM plugin, there are additional options available to us. Like we can set special prices for our B2C users, guest users. As you can see, I've created quantity based pricing for our guest users. So the price for this sweater will be 20 if they buy minimum of five uh, units and so on. And this is how the quantity based pricing looks like for our guest users. Similarly, the vendors can create special wholesale pricing for the user roles that the admins create. To learn more about user roles, check out our YouTube channel. I will leave a link in the description below. Once you're done setting the price, you can even set the layout of the quantity based discount. You can even set the visibility. Click on the submit button. And that's it. Your wholesale pricing for this product is live. Now let's look at the dynamic rule feature of Wholesale X. With the dynamic rule feature, you can set wholesale prices more dynamically. You can add condition and even set limitations to it. Click on create dynamic rule. Expand the newly created dynamic rule. Enter the name of the rule. Now, select the type of discount that you want to have. There are quite a few rules that you can choose from. I'm going to go and select product discount. Then you need to select the user rule that this discount will be applicable to. I'm going to select all users, select the product filter, enter the name of the product you want to add the discount to. Since I'm expand the manage discount option, set the discounted amount. and set the condition according to your preference and as well as the date and the limit rule so you know when the discount will take place and how many times the user can use the discount once you're done enable the rule status and click on save now let's see the pricing changes to our product in the front end here it is the wholesale pricing as well as the original pricing Finally, we have the conversation feature. With this feature, your registered users can send direct messages to the vendors of your website, making it more friendly for the whole wholesaling ecosystem. The customers can start a conversation with the vendor from the My Account page. As you can see, I have logged in as a B2C user and there is a conversation and code tab on my My Account page. I'm going to click on it and click on new conversation. You can select which vendor you want to send the message to. Select your preferred vendor. And we can also select the type of conversation this is going to be. It can be an inquiry, message or a code. I'm going to link it to inquiry and set the title to winter sale. Write the body of the message.
and click on start conversation. Your message has been delivered to the vendor. Now let's see where the vendor can find this conversation. The vendor can find the conversation on the dashboard. When they go to the conversation tab, they can find all the messages. Click on the message that you want to reply to. Here's a question that our customer asked us. I'm going to reply with next week and click reply. And that's it. And that's how simple the conversation feature is. So if you have any more questions about our features, you can go check out our YouTube channel. We have more in-depth tutorials on how our features work. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming content.